Police say Corey Maddox of East Waterboro was walking across the yard at Dayton Sand and Gravel when he was hit by the bucket of a front loader. We don't know what went wrong Monday afternoon. The company tells us they're not commenting at this time and OSHA is continuing to investigate. However, according to the data provided by the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics, work-related deaths might happen more often than you think. In 2022, there were 23 work-related deaths in Maine, three of which were caused by contact with objects and equipment. They also listed which types of job have the highest amount of work-related deaths in the U.S. Transportation and material moving being number one, followed by construction and extraction at number two. We spoke with Steve Greeley from the Maine Department of Labor about workplace safety involving heavy machinery. He says there isn't any reoccurring training required by OSHA. Some states, uh, you know, like uh, may have a requirement for a particular piece of equipment or whatever, uh, but, uh, but there's no licensing requirement in Maine. The OSHA standards pretty much are a, uh, you know, initial training as far as making sure the person's, you know, qualified to operate that piece of equipment. The incident involving Maddox is under investigation by OSHA and the police. They say that there's no signs of any foul play. In Dayton, I'm Jacob Murphy for Maine's Solo Coverage.